Honestly, is there anything a man in a shed can't do? This stunning timber cruiser looks like something that James Bond would tear through Venice on, but it wasn't built by Q in a secret underground bunker in London. No, it was built by an Aussie bloke called Simon, who'd never owned, let alone constructed a boat before. And it was built in Penrith, Western Sydney, in a shed. So 15 years ago, Simon decided he'd quite like a boat. The problem was the price tag. A timber cruiser like this, a Monaco or a Venice cruiser, was gonna set him back about $300,000. Fortunately, there was another way. He found some plans online out of the US for $120. He had a look at it and he decided he could do it himself. So he cleared the cars out of the shed, bought a significant amount of mahogany and began a journey that would take up 2,000 hours of his life. But the result is something that he is rightly proud of. Out on the water, this homemade beauty belies its classy Italian exterior to reveal a wild side. Simon did a lot of bespoke work on and around his 300 horsepower Volvo Penta V8 engine and its drive shaft. It's fair to say there's not a lot of noise deadening material. The result is that it sounds like an old school HSV monster with a very angry bogan at the wheel. And because you're sitting right next to the engine, you feel it as much as you hear it. There's also not a lot of weight for all that V8 to push, so when you hit the throttle you get the kind of torque response that hurls you at the horizon. It's glorious. On the downside, the lack of a windscreen means you can occasionally cop a face full of seawater, but it's genuinely worth it. Hi, I'm Simon. I'm the owner, builder of this uh, boat you can see behind me here. I spent 2,000 hours building this thing. Everybody was against me in the beginning, and that's really what pushed me to keep going, is, is that there's plenty of struggles in the world, why not take one on and overcome it? It was nerve wracking. It was really difficult to, to take something you've spent so long on and put it in the water. Uh, but when it turned on and made the rumble that it makes, yeah, it was a special moment. It draws a lot of attention. A lot of people will want to come and have a look and ask where it was made and how it was made. Uh, and a lot of people look at me funny when I tell them that I made it myself. Uh, being as young as I am, it's not the sort of thing that most people my age would do. Um, so it takes them off guard a little bit. It's not as hard as it looks. As long as you stick to it and give it lots of time, it will reward you with many years of boating pleasure. It's clear that Simon loves this boat, almost like a child. It's something he created, and I can see why. It really is stunning. But it's also rewarded him epically for the effort that he's put in. Just the beauty of it, looking at it, using it, it must be so much fun. And it does prove that truly a man with a shed can do anything. And you won't be surprised to hear that Simon already has the plans for his next project he's going to build a plane.